You're watching Carlton Television. Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'll take the money, Chris. I'm really not sure. Final answer, you can take the money? Yes, I am. Yes. OK, give her a big hand. Nicola Yeoman goes away with £8,000. I'll play alligator. Final answer. Final answer. In all these months you've been desperate to get on this show, in fact, a couple of years since you arrived yeah. in the UK, what sort of money do you think you'd make if you got here? It, it could be any amount. I know. Well, I'll tell you the amount you've got at the moment is £64,000. Yes! Yes! I think it's the governor of the Bank of England. Final answer, yeah? Yes. You had £4,000? The right answer is actually chief cashier. Oh! I believe it. Yeah, Jubilee. Sounds good logic. Want to play this? Yes. Final answer? Yes. Exactly the right answer. You've got £16,000. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's Thursday night. Back in the hot seat from Tuesday is Sarah Maloney, a nurse from Streatham in London. She's on £16,000, and the good news is she has two lifelines remaining. Up in the audience once again is her friend Ellen, who she met at acupuncture classes. Ellen has worry beads again tonight to relieve the tension, while Sarah has a special... Oh, there they are. Thank you. While Sarah has a special acupuncture point in her ear, which she can squeeze if she gets under pressure. Uh, she's also mad keen on <laughs> yoga, as she told us on Tuesday. If she does well on the show tonight, she wants to go off and study with some of the best yoga masters in America. Which is true, isn't it? That's your main ambition? Yes, it is. Now, are yes. we calm tonight? Uh, fairly. Did you do anything this morning? Have you done a sort of morning... I did, did some yoga. Did you go upside down on your head again? Yes. Lots of breathing. What does it do when you emerge from it? When you finally get yourself back upright? Um... <laughs> It sends the blood to your brain, so that's good for tonight. And, um, yeah, it makes you feel good. OK, well, you, now, have you thought about... Oh, you've obviously thought about nothing else for the last two days, but um, £16,000, serious results so far, two lifelines left. Got, yeah. a, got a plan, got a master strategy? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got to take my time, read the question properly, don't lose what I've got. Don't lose what you've got, whatever you do. OK, I hope you get a lot more. And don't forget, there are just 15 questions and one phone number between you and the chance of winning £1 million. You know the number to call, 09068 444444. And who knows, it could be you here in the hot seat playing for £1 million. At the moment, though, it's Sarah. She's on £16,000. She has two lifelines remaining. She has phone a friend and 50-50. OK, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> So, this is the one you've been thinking about for 48 hours. <laughs> Question number 10. It's worth a guaranteed cheque for 32,000. Here it is. The word olfactory. You're smiling. <laughs> you're not touching your ear, you're smiling. Do you know, um... Let's have a look. The word olfactory refers to which of the five senses? Do you think you know the answer? Yes. What do you think's going to come up? Smell. OK. If it doesn't, touch your ear and panic. Touch. Sight. Taste. Smell. You've got a huge grin on your face. I've just, just got to think about be, this in case I made a mistake. Be calm. It's worth £32,000. If your instincts are wrong, you lose £15,000. No, I think your first thought's often right, isn't it? Often's not good. Always is great. Now I'm going for smell. Final answer. You've just won £32,000. <laughs> oh, well played, Sarah. I don't quite know what that means to you, but I suspect quite a lot. Have a look. A lot, Whatever yes. happens, Sarah, you go home with that amount of money, £32,000. Thank you. Do you want to hold it, or do you want me to look no, after thank it? thank you. Do you not? 
No, I think I'm shaking. <laughs> Touch your ear. Come on, give it a give it a bit of a waggle. That's good. It's working. You see? Yeah. Okay, I'll put it over here. Whatever Thank happens, you. you've got that check for £32,000. Have a look at question number 11. It's worth £64,000. Which American mm. film actress was married to Mickey Rooney and Artie Shaw? Ingrid Bergman, Judy Garland, Lauren Bacall, Ava Gardner. Why are you grinning again? <laughs> I can't think. Who's Artie Shaw? I've never heard of him. This presumably wasn't at the same time. Uh, um... Which American film actress was married to Mickey Rooney and Artie Shaw? Ingrid Bergman, Judy Garland, Lauren McCall, <laughs> Ava Gardner. It's worth £64,000. I go 50-50? You can. Computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Sarah the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. What are you thinking? Well, I thought Ava Gardner when I saw Mickey Rooney come up, but I'm not sure. And I don't think any of my phone of friends would know it. Finding somebody who may not know it or just go for it. I think I'll ring Judy. Judy? Yeah. Okay, where's Judy? She's in London, but she's, she's actually teaching a yoga class at the moment. She's taking her mobile in with her. The one might be butting in then. She says not. You just break into a yoga class with we mobile shouldn't, phone? But Hello? Judy? Yes. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Hello. Well, I'm sorry, are you right in the middle of a class? No, I'm not. It's actually between classes. Oh, thank heavens for that. Perfect timing. Now, um, before you have to go back, racing back in, then, I've got Sarah here. Yes. Uh, she's doing rather well. Yes. In fact, she's doing very well. She's on £32,000. Good. But good, but uh, <laughs> we can make it better, Judy. The next voice here will be Sarah's. Now, she'll tell you the question. There are only two possible answers. One of these is the right answer. It's worth £64,000. OK. OK. All right, darling, 30 seconds. Sarah, lots of luck. Your time starts now. Hey, Jude. Hi, Sarah. Go for it. Which American film actress was married to Mickey Rooney and Artie Shaw? Was it Judy Garland or Ava Gardner? Ava Gardner. I know Ava Gardner was married to Artie Shaw. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> How sure are you? Um. <laughs> Come on, woman. <laughs> um. <but> the... <laughs> I should have gone for it. I am now Ava Gardner. Final answer. Yeah. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple oh! of minutes for the second part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't go away. Communications Network can put your business in touch with the entire country. A whole region. An individual city. An apartment block. Number 34. Or just Pete Smith, who's about to become your next customer. Think Royal Mail, the real network. Laura, what do you think of this? Oh, I'm starving. You're always starving. I'm going to have to go downstairs and get something to eat. Well, have you tried these, Snacker Jacks? Salt and vinegar flavour. Yeah, try one. Mm. They are gorgeous. Mm. And less than 10% mm. fat. You can't just have one, though, can you? Uh-uh, I'll get to a room. You'd love the caramel ones. You keep these in your desk? Mm. Yeah. 
You stay away from my desk. <laughs> Snacker Jacks. Some things are too good to keep to yourself. This Christmas, there's an even bigger choice of presents at Argos. You can ring and reserve them at your local store or get them delivered free. Argos, brighter prices, brighter presents, brighter Christmas. Now for news of one very eagerly awaited premiere. McDonald's new McChicken premiere has all the ingredients of an absolute blockbuster. The central role is played by Philip Breast of Chicken, which in turn is superbly supported by pecan salsa, a sour cream and chive sauce, and crucially, focaccia bread. Anyway, here to whet your appetite is a sneak preview. That's the new McChicken premiere. Whatever you do, don't miss it. With over a hundred offers in store, you'll find great British value as easy to find as great British quality. Sainsbury's tastes better for less. It's coming. The phenomenon that began the international best-selling book has become... You're a wizard, Harry. ...one of the most anticipated motion picture events of the year. I think we can expect great things from you. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Your favorite toppings on a unique crispy base makes new pizza pleasure taste deliciously different. Buy a frozen, eat it chilled. go to Paris or Brussels for only a hundred pounds return for two Eurostar enjoy your journey Eric Morecambe, Britain's favorite comedian. Discover his life on stage. Eric was one of those people who, when he came out, I laughed. He didn't have to do anything. And off. He was never, ever bored. His hobby was hobbies. He had a dabble at everything. The unforgettable Eric Morecambe. Friday at 10, ITV1. Welcome back to the second part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? It's Thursday night, just before the break. Nurse Sarah Maloney from Streatham got this question. Which American film actress was married to Mickey Rooney and Artie Shaw? She used up two of her lifelines. She used a 50-50, cut it down to Judy Garland and Ava Gardner. Uh, she rang her friend who said she thought it was probably Ava Gardner. Sarah went for it. That was the final answer. You just won £64,000. <laughs> Oh, well played. <laughs> Sorry about the break. Oh, we go on a bit, didn't we? We'll do that again, ever. It would be calm. <laughs> you weren't too calm in that break, were you? Told no. you touch your ear, you're going to be calm. I wish I'd gone for it now. Good feeling? Great, thank you. Well, I know it was your first instinct, but uh, it's always best to make sure, double sure, these amounts of money, £64,000. Want to touch it? No, thanks. I'll touch it sooner or later. You want to take it home? <laughs> you see, you like it now. Yeah. Okay. Now you've got 32 guaranteed. Mm -hmm. You've got 64 at this moment. Have a look. You're four away from a million. This is question number 12 of a possible 15. What was the remaining part of the long Parliament that sat from 1648 to 1653 when it was dismissed by Cromwell? Rear Parliament, Hind Parliament, Rump Parliament, Back Parliament. What are you thinking, Sarah? I'm thinking I should have said Ava Gardner because I know who'd know this. Because I've known. 
the, I haven't the faintest idea, I don't think, about this one. Take your time, have a good look at it. It's worth £125,000. I don't know why I'm sitting here because I haven't the phone. <laughs> well, there's nothing much on the telly at home. <laughs> Only this. I'm just sort of prolonging the agony. Um, it's a lot of money. Have a long look at it. Have you got an inkling? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, how would you ever get to an answer then? I, I don't, well, I'm sort of hoping for a divine inspiration to strike. Um, I think I'd better take the money. It's up to you, but I'm just wondering if you haven't a clue and you have no lifelines... Well, I sort of thought something might... What would you guess? Rum. Why? Well, of all of them, it's the only one I think I might have heard of, but I wouldn't... I don't want to lose 32,000 for a very tiny inkling. Final answer? Yeah. OK, give her a big hand. Sarah Maloney goes back to Stratton. <laughs> Rather better off than when she arrived with £64,000. Just before you go... If you said to me, rump parliament, I'll be taking that cheque out of your hand, I'll be tearing it up, and I'll be writing out a cheque for £125,000. It was the right answer. But as you say, at that level, it wasn't worth risking. Give her a big hand. Sarah goes away with £64,000. Well played, Sarah. <laughs> right. After a good start tonight, nurse Sarah Maloney goes back to Streatham with £64,000. And even without her yoga, I bet she's now feeling more relaxed than she's ever felt in her life. Now, Thursday night, ten brand new contestants all hoping to get themselves into the hot seat. Let's meet them. They are... <laughs> Christina Bass from Cardiff. <laughs> Daniel O'Gorman from Hertfordshire. <laughs> Chris Gummer from Worcestershire. <laughs> Ray Smith from Cleveland. Cindy Dallas from Surrey. Richard Pugh from Essex. Godfrey Rock from Warwickshire. John Chittenden from London. Kathy Mabbott from North Yorkshire. And Stuart Duncan from Lancashire. Ten contestants, what a lineup. Halloween, of course. Last night, the night when ghouls and ghosties walked the earth, it looks like one well, or two of them didn't make it home. Now, <laughs> it's fastest finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is next this Thursday night to play for a possible one million pounds. It can be done, it has been done. Audience, nice and quiet, please, they need to concentrate. Let's have a look at the first question tonight. Starting with the smallest, put these prefixes in order according to the amount they represent. Octo, semi, uni, quadri. Okay, let's have a look. Ten contestants. Uh, this is the right order, then, from smallest up to largest. Uh, semi, first and foremost, is a half. Then uni is one. Then it's uni one. Uh, then it's quadri four. Then it's Octo 8. That's the right order from smallest to largest. Now, ten contestants. How many got that right out of ten? Only two. Who was fastest? Ray Smith in 10.78 seconds. Raymond! <laughs> Raymond, you're an amazing man. <laughs> you want to do this? Yeah. Yes, Ray Smith, a maths teacher from Billingham in Cleveland. Up in the audience, looking very proud, his eldest son, Nick. Uh, watching at home is Ray's wife, Leslie, along with youngest son, Ben, and daughter, Carmel. All three are phone of friends, along with two colleagues from work. Ray teaches at the City Technology College in Middlesbrough. He says he's very strict and old-fashioned. He sets down the rules early on, takes no nonsense from any of his students, and is set to give them a really good laugh. Probably the best fun of their lives if he embarrasses himself here on the show tonight. 
However, if he does well, Ray wants to pay off the mortgage, buy a couple of cases of burgundy, and take a real five-star holiday, all of which will be a dream come true, literally. Now, this is a true story. Last night, Ray dreamt he was on £500,000 on the show. When I asked him the million-pound question, it was about ancient civilizations. Now, sadly, he woke up <laughs> before he answered, <laughs> so he doesn't know whether or not he became a millionaire. This is true, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Why did you wake up? I've no idea. <laughs> was it vivid? Well, I just realised I was awake and I thought, oh. Oh, no. I don't, yeah, exactly. <sighs> so you've no, and you don't even know what the question was? No, no. Are you really strict? Because you seem a bit of... I'm sorry I shouldn't say this to you. Try to sure. But they all have to call you Mr Smith. None of this rain No Henry or Ray. Oh, absolutely. Mr Smith. That's right. OK. Now, teachers on the show, some have done very well. I mean, one did incredibly well. One went away with a million pounds. Some of the others haven't done that well. Well, sometimes there's a lot of pressure being a teacher. Everybody expects them to do almost too well. You know? Well, that's it. That's the fear, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Making a fool of yourself. OK. Well, fingers crossed. Lots of luck. Don't forget, you can practice playing Millionaire anytime online at www.itv.co.uk. A virtual million up for grabs, but if you want to be here playing for real, which is what Ray is doing at this moment, call us, as he did, uh, on 09068 444444. That's the number you need to call to win this number. One million pounds if you get 15 questions right 15 questions three brand new lifelines 50 50 phone a friend and of course ask this brand new thursday night audience ray lots of luck let's play who wants to be a millionaire this is question number one for 100 pounds in the saying what don't you metaphorically give when you couldn't care less one scoot Two hoots, three boots, four toots. Two hoots. Sure? Yes. <laughs> Nobody's ever gone out for this question. It's no review. It's the right answer. You've got 100 pounds. <laughs> yeah. As in, you don't get two hoots. Question number two is for 200 pounds. Which term represents the fundamentals of education that are taught in primary school? You better know this one. The two A's, the three R's, the four W's, the seven C's. The three R's. That's the right answer. You got 200 pounds. <laughs> Reading, writing, and arithmetic, which I never quite understood as three R's from them. Spokesman for education. Right, question number three. What kind of household appliance is a twin tub? Kettle, washing machine, iron, dishwasher. Washing machine. Yes. Sure? Yes. Have you used one? Yes. Have you? Many I'm years impressed. ago. <laughs> you got 300 pounds. <laughs> What signal is given when danger is over? All aboard, all clear, all day, all round. All clear. That's the right answer, you got 500 pounds. <laughs> okay, Ray, last point, you can go home with nothing at all. I'm sure it won't happen. Uh, you've got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number five. It will guarantee you're going back to Cleveland with at least £1,000. Here it is. What nationality is the actor Gerard Depardieu? German, French, Dutch, Canadian. On your keypads, please. Let's make sure Ray gets up to one thousand pounds. That's exactly what lifelines are there for. <laughs> make sure, double sure. This is the question: What nationality is the actor Gerard Depardieu? A, B, C, or D? All vote now. Uh, Two percent think he's German. Eighty-six percent think he's French. Three percent think he's Dutch. Nine percent saying Canadian. Over the audience. Which 
ones, not the 2% anything you can do. French. French. Final answer? <laughs> Final answer. So right now, so you got £1,000. <laughs> Don't panic if you're not sure that's exactly what lifelines are for. The last thing you want to do is go home with nothing at all. That will not happen now, Ray. You've got a thousand pounds. Okay, so you can go back into that class <laughs> in front of the students with your head held up high. Now, have a look at number six. It's for two thousand pounds. You're ten away from a million, uh, and you've still got two important lifelines. You've still got your 50 50, and you can phone a friend, which is may or may not be one of the members of your family. Have a look at question number six. It's for two thousand pounds. What is the occupation of an attache? Diplomat, solicitor, teacher, journalist. A diplomat, Chris. Not a teacher. No. Final answer. Final answer. You're not an attaché yourself, then. No. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Question number seven is for 4,000 pounds. You've got two lifelines. Here it comes. Padua is a city in which country? Italy, Switzerland, Spain, Belgium. What are you thinking, right? I thought Padua was in New Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a city in which of these countries? Italy, Switzerland, Spain or Belgium? Padua. It's worth £4,000. What do you reckon? I think... I think I better phone a friend. OK. Phoning some Tony. family? Who? No, Tony is a colleague. Tony, he OK. He teaches geography. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pressure on him as well now. <laughs> we better be right. OK. Uh, we'll phone Tony. Presumably he's up in, uh, up in Billingham. He's up in... Yes. Phone Tony. 30 seconds. Tell him the question for possible answer. Hello? Tony? Yes? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Good evening. How Good are evening. You? I'm fine. Uh, I've got Ray with me. He's doing OK, but he's stuck on one particular question. Right. Uh, it's worth £4,000. He's got 2000 at the moment. Okay. All right, mate. OK, Ray, lots of luck. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Tony, Padua is a city in which country? Italy, Switzerland, Spain or Belgium? Um, Padua. P -A would, yeah, Padua, P-A-D-U-A, yeah. yeah. I would uh, guess that that one is Italy. Uh, probably 80%, but not absolutely certain, Ray. Thanks, Tony. Okay. That's fine, thank you, yeah. Okay, best of luck. Cheers. So he's not 100% then, the geography master? No, but I think he knows his <laughs> stuff. Italy. I hope he does. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer, he does know his stuff. He's got more <laughs> I still like your idea of Padua, New Guinea. <laughs> right, you've got £4,000. You've still got a 50-50. OK? Are you starting to enjoy it yet? Yeah. <laughs> You'll enjoy it if you get up to 32000 Have a look at question number eight. It's for £8,000. You're eight away from a million. You've still got one lifeline. This is number eight. You can double your money. Here it is. What relation is the present Duke of Gloucester to Queen Elizabeth II? Son. Cousin. Uncle, grandson. You're doing a lot of working out. What are you working out? It's, it's cousin or uncle, I think. Not Certainly son. not son, no. Or grandson? No, not grandson. I'm sure. You got a 50-50? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use it. 50-50, Chris. Yeah. OK, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Ray the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. Could he be the grandson? No, in my luck, it could be. <laughs> but, um... We'll go for cousin, Chris. Will we? Oh, well, I will. <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs>
So, Ray Smith from Cleveland is on £8,000. The next question is for £16,000. He has no more lifelines. Join us again in a couple of minutes after the break for the third part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> The new Citroen C5 offers lights that work automatically. Wipers that know when it's raining and how hard. Suspension that really does read the road. And emergency braking assistance. The new Citroen C5 saloon or estate is technology as it should be, 100% useful. At PC World, we're stamping down on prices big time. Right now, we've this 2 gigahertz Packard Bell Power Plus PC featuring the fastest ever Intel Pentium 4 processor. And that means faster internet, faster graphics, faster games, and all for under a thousand pounds. At PC World, we're with you every step of the way. New Summerfield Mega Deals mean prices are now halved for Bonfire Night on all these products. Yes, all at half price. How much will you save? Ever wanted to stop time? New Nivea Hand Age Defying Cream with Q10 can help to keep your hands looking younger for longer. Nivea Hand Age Defying Cream Q10 for timeless, beautiful hands. I think you'd better take a seat. I'd put down that cup of tea, too. And better ask Grandma to leave the room. We don't want her having one of her turns now. <clears throat> right, here goes. Get two pieces of succulent chicken freshly prepared in my secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices. Large fries and a large drink for a minuscule £2.99. <laughs> Brian, you okay? Speak to me, boy. Have you been waiting for the right time to get yourself a DVD player? Well, the right time is now. Because Warner Home Video have bought out hundreds of top-selling DVDs for just $9.99 each. Including smash titles such as Deep Blue Sea, LA Confidential, Devil's Advocate, and The Perfect Storm. Loads of fantastic DVDs for only $9.99 each. Available at Woolworths. My mum's really soft. She's like a big squashy chair. She smells of soap and the stuff in her hair. I think she's a mermaid. She spends ages in the bar. She's got tickly fingers. They make me giggle and laugh. She stops things from hurting because she's my mum. When she eats biscuits, they stick to her hips and her bum. Robinson's Fruit and Barley feed their imagination. Welcome back to the third part of this Thursday night's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? If you think a million quid might do wonders for your bank balance, then ring this number, 09068 444444. You could be just 15 questions and one phone call away from becoming a millionaire. Ray Smith from Cleveland is on £8,000. Uh, lifelines are gone, but you're only seven little questions away from £1 million, Ray. Right now, how are you feeling? Are you enjoying it yet? A bit better. Hey? A bit better, yes. Well, don't lose this money. It's getting a bit serious now. The money's uh, going up a bit steep, but the drop's got a bit sharp as well. You can walk away with £8,000, but if you do go for number nine and give me a right answer, you can double your money for 16. If you do give me a wrong answer, you lose £7,000. So have a good look. You're guaranteed a 1000 You've got eight at this moment. This is question number nine. 
Which of these animals is not an insectivore? Mole, hedgehog, shrew, weasel. thinking right I think it's a weasel but I'm not a hundred percent sure certainly a shrew's an insectivore I think a mole is I think a hedgehog is on the basis I could be wrong because I've been wrong before I think I better cut and run. Captain, have a good look at it. It's your call. It's worth sixteen thousand pounds. It's entirely your call. <sighs> oh, I'll go. I'll take a chance. I'll go for a weasel. Final answer. Final answer. You afford to lose seven thousand pounds. Well, I didn't have it when I came, so it's that's sort of academic. But uh, be sad to lose it, but you, you've got to give it a go. He gave it a go. He gave it your best shot. It brought you sixteen thousand pounds. Come on, right? <laughs> you can do this, right? <laughs> Ray, you look like you've done 15 rounds with Mike Tyson. Come on, Ray, you can do this. Weasel carnivorous, the others all live on insects. You've got £16,000. Trusting your instinct, well done. Now, this is going to be a bit serious. This would guarantee you £32,000, but you obviously don't have to play this one. If you did not know the answer to this or you gave me a wrong answer, you lose £15,000. You can walk away, Ray, with £16,000. Have a look at question number 10 of a possible 15. You're six away from one million. Who wrote the play, A Chorus of Disapproval? Alan Aikborn, Michael Frayne, Peter Schaffer, Tom Stoppard. I don't know. I think it's between two, but uh, I can't. I can't work it down to one. Which ones? Well, I know it's Alan Aikborn, or maybe it's Tom Stoppard. I don't know the other two very well. I might be wrong, but the odds are against it now. So I think I'll have to call it today, Chris. I'll take the money. Final answer. Final answer. Please. Give him a big hand. Ray Smith goes away with sixteen thousand pounds. Good night's work. I can tell you, actually, you reckon it was between Tom Stoppard and Alan Aikborn, the right answer that's actually was. Mm. Which one were you gone for? Don't really know. Maybe Alan Aikborn. It know. would have been the right answer if you'd gone for Alan Aikborn. It would have been <laughs> £32,000. But you weren't sure. You had a good ride. You go away with £16,000. Well played, guys. Well done. Good to come Good on, mate. Nice bloke, Ray, real name Henry, but the U Kids maths master, Mr. Smith, goes back to Cleveland with £16,000. Now, we've got nine contestants left. Here we go again. Fast finger first. Four answers, one correct order. Nice and quiet, as always, in the audience, please. Here comes the next question. Starting with the furthest north, put these shipping areas in clockwise order around the British coast. Dover, Fair Isle, Irish Sea, Tyne. Okay, starting with the furthest north end. This is the right order. Nine contestants left. This is the right order. Uh, it's got to be clockwise. Well, Fair Isle up the top, then going down Tyne, then going down the coast of Dover, and then right around the Irish Sea. That's the right order. Now, nine left. How many got it right out of nine? Uh, one, two, three, four. Christina Bass was fastest. 
Christina Bass, a business manager from Marshfield near Cardiff. Up in the audience is workmate Mark, as her boyfriend Martin is overseas. Now, however, he has managed to text her his wish list and X type Jag, please, if you get to 64 thou. <laughs> Back home in Wales is Christina's son Hugh. He's now seven years old, but he's always been a very keen golfer since the age of three. I knew you'd do that. That's him getting ready for his first ever golf lesson. Now, if Mummy does do well tonight, Christina's promised him a new set of clubs. Although Hugh also wants £100 to buy himself 100 chocolate frogs. <laughs> With a big win, Christina says she'll stay in bed for a month and pay someone else to clean the house. And with a really, really, really big win, uh, she wants to move to Cornwall and become a writer. So that's about it, isn't it? Yes. How much would you need, then, realistically, to become a writer? Mm. More than a million, I would think. More than a million? <laughs> oh, you're Obviously. the wrong show. We've only got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I no, think... No, realistically, I mean, to, to move to Cornwall, you live in Wales, to move to Cornwall? Probably 64 or 32. Ooh. OK, um, now, uh, among your phone of friends, uh, one of them says you should practice fastest finger first with egg cups. Yes, he's what a bit mad. That? He's a work colleague. Well, how, how is it going to work? Um, well, he sits there in front of the television watching the programme has the four egg cups in front of him, and as the choices come up, he taps them in order. Right. Yeah. What's he called? Nigel. His phone Nigel, friend. you're a very, very sad person. <laughs> oh. I can never go back now. <laughs> well, is he still one of your phone of friends? Yes. All right. We probably won't mention it then if we ring him, that's for sure. All right, well, uh, let's make a start. Three new lifelines, 15 questions, one million pounds. You're going to need all of them. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Question number one for £100. Here it comes. What do you metaphorically hit when you get extremely angry? The hay. The bottle. The road. The roof. The roof, Chris. Not the bottle. No. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> Question number two for 200 quid. Here it is. Which of these words means showing shrewdness and good judgment? Tinny, juggy, canny, potty. Canny, Chris. It's the right answer. You've got 200 pounds. <laughs> okay, question number three for 300 quid. Take your time, have a look. Particularly in cartoons, a row of which letter is used to represent the sound of snoring. C, J, R, Z. Z, Chris. That's right, answer. You get little Zs coming out of it. It's snoring. <laughs> Fast, <Fascinating. laughs> OK, question number four for 500 pounds. Have a look. Just be aware you've got those lifelines if you need them. You haven't needed anything yet. Have a look. Question number four. In which method of cooking is the food suspended over a pan of boiling water? Roasting, baking, steaming, grilling. Steaming, Chris. That's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> You're on the roll so far. No problems at all with anything. Question number five will guarantee you 1,000 pounds. Which of these reigning English queens never married? Elizabeth I, Mary I, Victoria. Anne. Elizabeth the first. Final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. You got one thousand pounds guaranteed. <laughs> Feel better? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Have a light. Yes, thank you. Um, have a look at number six. You might as well play this. You got a thousand pounds guaranteed. You got all three lifelines. This is for two thousand. Who is the female star of the 2001 film Moulin Rouge? Nicole Kidman, Cameron Diaz, Angelina Jolie, Gwyneth Paltrow. Nicole Kidman, Chris. Have you seen it? I've 
seen trailers, not the film. You've seen trailers? Yeah. They're always the best bits of trailers. Final answer? Yes. It is Nicole Kidman, you got £2,000. <laughs> Question number seven. Nine away from a million, still no need of any lifeline yet. Christina, have a look at number seven for £4,000. Which of these phrases appears in Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice? Penny of fat, pound of flesh, tanner of meat, florin of brawn. Pound of flesh. How do you know that one? somewhere in the back of my mind. Um, Final answer. <laughs> yes. Final answer. That's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> You've got £4,000. Uh, you haven't needed any lifelines yet. Question number eight is for £8,000. You can double your money. Have a look at it. Which popular cocktail Contains a mixture of Advocar and lemonade. Screwdriver. Sidecar. Snowball. Singapore sling. Snowball, Chris. I know that because my grandmother used to drink it. Sure, what, your granny used to drink it? Yeah, and I hope it's right. <laughs> yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Good old granny's just got you £8,000. <laughs> You never know when your granny's drinking habits <laughs> are going to pay off. Uh, granny's just brought you 8,000. You are two away from the next big milestone of 32. Have a look, take your time. This is for 16,000. You haven't needed any lifelines yet. You're seven away from a million with three lifelines intact. This is for 16,000. Which of these place names identifies the Womble in charge of the workshop? Inverary. Tobermory, Bellaricki, Tipperary. Tobermory, Chris. How do you know that? I used to watch the Wombles when I was very little and I don't remember any with any of the other names. Tobermory, I do remember. Right. Yes, please. Final answer. Final answer. The right answer, you got £16,000. <laughs> Still no lifeline here. Okay, the next question for Christina is worth £32,000. If she gives me a wrong answer at this point, she would lose 15000 but she has all three lifelines. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the final part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't go away. <laughs> So I bought these, Terry's Chocolate Orange Mini Segments. Each one's individually wrapped, so they're even easier to share, to share, to share. Sh no, it's no good. They're going to have to have biscuits. Terry's Chocolate Orange Mini Segments. They're not Terry's. They're mine. Last year, you bought enough laminate flooring to cover over a 1,000 football pitches. Now we bring you the latest innovation, Floormaster Lock. No glue, no mess, it just locks together. As soon as it's laid, it's ready for action. You can do it when you B and Q it. Oh, chips! You never told me you're making chips. Hey, from the microwave, man. No. Anyway, microwave chips come in a box. Where's the box? Hmm? All right. Mega microchips from McCain. You'll never believe they came from the microwave. One mega microchip box. Oh, yeah. Look where I'm. They you come in a box. Mm. Mega microchips from McCain. There's no place like home at Asda for microwaves and pans at permanently low prices. Now we can really make a meal of it. <laughs> Fixident Neutral, the new adhesive cream for a secure fit and neutral taste. Fixident and forget it. My most attractive feature, my hair. It's always been, but science has played its part. 
New L'Oreal Elvive Shampoo with Regenium for hair becoming thin over time. Regenium, derived from one of hair's vital substances, penetrates hair to help bring back thickness. Shampoo after shampoo, my hair feels replenished, thicker and fuller. Impressed? I'm not just impressed, I'm convinced. New L'Oreal Elvive age-defying hair care with Regenium. It's a real discovery for me. And you too, you're worth it. Young woman been murdered. Starring Ross Kemp, Kenneth Cranham, and Jamie Foreman. Without motive, tonight, 10.20. Welcome back to the fourth and final part of this Thursday night. Who wants to be a millionaire? Just for the break, Christina Bass from Marshfield near Cardiff got up to £16,000 thanks to her knowledge of the Wombles and her granny's drinking habits. Right, question number 10. Six away from a million. This is 10 of a possible 15. The mythical griffin had the body of a lion and the head and wings of which bird? Owl. Eagle. Swan, albatross. I think I know the answer, but it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money to lose. To lose on the wrong answer. You got sixteen thousand. It's worth thirty-two. Have a look. Tell us what you want to do. Shall we ring Nigel? Nigel? Yes, let's ring Nigel. But he's the one who practices fast, fastest finger with egg cups. <laughs> uh, where's Nigel? He's in Newport in Wales. OK, 30 seconds, turn on the question. Four possible answers. See what he says. It's worth £32,000. Can we tell him how much money's involved? Yes, please. OK. Hello? Nigel? Hello. Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Well, I'm fine. Nigel, can you clear this up for me? Is it true that you practice fastest finger first with egg cups? <laughs> um, it, has, it has been known. Yeah. <laughs> Funny that. The difference is that Christina's here with, with her technique and you're not. But, Nigel, good news. Good news. She's in the chair. She's on £16,000. Oh, crikey. Oh, crikey. So she's playing for 32000 Okay, next voice you hear will be Christina. She'll tell you a question. There are four possible answers. One of these is worth a guaranteed check for £32,000. All right, mate? Okay. Okay, fingers crossed. Lots of luck, Christina. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Nigel, yeah. the mythical griffin had the body of a lion and the head and wings of which bird? Owl, eagle, swan, or albatross? Say the question again. The mythical griffin had the body of a lion and the head and wings of which bird? Owl, eagle, swan, or albatross? Owl, eagle, swan, or albatross. Owl. We're down to nine seconds. I would say eagle. Yeah, I I'm not 100% certain. Right, 75%. okay. 75%. Thanks, Nigel. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> right. I'm going to go with eagle because that's what I thought, first of all, and Nigel sort of thought it as well, so I'm going for eagle. Even though he practices fastest finger first when yes. it comes. Yes, he'll be in big trouble if he gets it wrong. So. Big trouble, no. Yes, eagle, please. Final answer. Final answer. You had £16,000. You've just won £32,000. <laughs> Good old Nigel. We never doubted Nigel for a second, and that's the, uh, that's the first lifeline you've had to use. Feel good? Yes. Feel very, very, very good? Yes. £32,000. Have a look. You can take it. It's yours. Take it away. Used to handling money at the bank. You can take that one. Thank you. you can take it. Thank you. £32,000. Right. Question number 11 is for £64,000. Your little boy will be very proud. Have a look at number 11. It's worth £64,000. What is the basic SI unit for measuring electric current? Watt. Hertz. Ampere. Joule. I'd like a 
50-50 on that one, please, Chris. Yeah, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Christina the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. Mm, the one I was going to choose is gone. Ah. Uh-huh. That's uh, good. In, in a way, that's good. <coughs> it's worth £64,000. You might as well play this and you've still got to ask the audience. I'll go with ask the audience, please, Chris. OK, audience on your keypads, please. This is for £64,000. <laughs> There are only two possibilities on this, so please don't vote B or D, because they've gone. Uh, this is the question. What is the basic SI unit for measuring electric current? All in your keypads, please. A or C. All vote now. Sixty-five percent say ampere, thirty-five percent say watts. It's quite a big difference. Um, as I don't know the answer, I'll go with the audience. Um, ampere, please, Chris. Final answer. Yes. 65% of this audience are absolutely right. You just won £64,000. <laughs> now, you've now got £64,000. That was your last lifeline. Have a look at that one. Buy the Jaguar now. You have to buy the Jaguar now. Sixty-four thousand pounds. That just about uh, covers it. In fact, you've only got a bit of change left for the uh, the hundred chocolate frogs. You got sixty-four thousand pounds. Not a bad day, out, was it? No, not Glad at you all. you came up from Cardiff. I definitely am. Yes. Right. You are four away from one million. You have no lifelines left, but have a look at number twelve. Some serious money coming up. This is for one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. It's question number twelve of a possible fifteen. Here it is. Mount Corcovado overlooks which city? Cape Town, Kuala Lumpur, Naples, Rio de Janeiro. Oh, I'm rubbish at geography. <laughs> I've used up all my lifelines. No. No, I can't risk it. No. Can't no, risk it? No, I cannot risk it. No. I'm happy with this. Do you feel tempted at all? I am tempted. And I would be even more tempted if I had one of my lifelines, but... Which one would you guess? If you're saying it's a guess, what would you guess? Naples. I'm going to take the money. I'm going to take the money. Final answer. Final answer. I'm taking the money. Give her a big hand. She goes away. With £64,000. <laughs> Did you go for Naples? Or oh, Rio de Janeiro. I wasn't sure. Which one would you have no, chosen? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I bet you'd have gone for Naples. Probably. Probably? Mm. Good thing you didn't. Because it was completely wrong. Oh. The right answer was Rio de Janeiro. Oh, thank goodness. Christina Bass goes away with £64,000. <laughs> oh, and I thought she was going to lose it. That's all we got time for. Good show earlier on tonight. Sarah Maloney went away with £64,000. Wake Smith took £16,000 back to Cleveland. Christina Bass here won £64,000. Enough for boyfriend Martin's Jag. We're back to do it all over again on Saturday night. Now, if you'd like to enter, check if you're eligible by seeing a summary of the rules on Teletext on ITV, or you can visit the website, or, of course, you can write to us at the usual address. <laughs> Don't forget, if you'd like to be here playing for a million pounds, bring this number, she did, 09068 444444. Coming up next tonight, peak practice. We're back Saturday at 10 past 8 for another. Who wants to be a millionaire tonight? And just a reminder that also on Saturday, the search continues for the nation's next pop idol. That's Saturday at 6 o'clock. You can now play Millionaire online at itv.co.uk.